guys, and today we have some news for you, but this is not the main event. Okay, so do you want to train in the arena, Clink Boots? I defeated Cryos. So that means I finished all the people. I've defeated all the people from the arena. And yeah, so why are we here today? We are here to for the in-game descriptions for the arena people and yeah let's get into it so yeah then gina arrived at the academy a few weeks ago she doesn't know many spells but she can't wait to test them all out on new challengers gina is the new girl and she doesn't have any pets unlike cameron it has a pet the copycat when cameron first came to the academy he challenged cryos and was beaten by powerful powerful fire spells now cameron has choose fire as his new element now that's called copycat myla the veteran wizard myla didn't get her outfit from the academy in fact she came here dressed like this she's been casting spells for years uses all of them to defeat challengers she's casting spells for years but how is she still how is she still on level 20 by the way that's pretty weird Okay, anyways, Benjamin, the nameless. There are pre plenty of Bens at the academy, but only one Benjamin. Benjamin. Most students say his name is really spelled Benjamin. think he just changed it to be different. Interesting fact. It's really spelled Benjamin. Yeah. Fuchsia. I don't know what how you pronounce Fuchsia. I'm going to go look it up and... Yeah, I will master it. Fuchsia. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Fuchsia. The sweetheart. Pink is Fuchsia's favorite color, which is obvious to know to anyone who sees her. She doesn't know many spells, mostly because she spends too much time with her pet peppermint. Okay, I think the mystic is the peppermint. Peppermint. Okay, Bannard. The loud mouth. Most students avoid Bannard, but not because he's too tough. In fact, he's a pretty normal student, except for the fact he talks really loud. In fact, again, students can hear him coming from a mile away. Wow, that's, that is, that is, like, you know, that is loud. Lena, the Tempest, the Metalhead. Lena was raised in a small mining town. In the mountains of the northern regions, her appreciation of the rare rocks and ores that come from the planet have earned her nickname. Her nickname. Wait. Again, the typo. Earned her, her nickname. Earned her, her nickname. Okay. So, yeah, we'll skip one of the hers. But we don't know. Just don't think about that. Just listen to me reading it. The planet have, has earned her nickname, but it isn't Earth spell that she's been practicing. It's, I don't know. Okay, so Finn is the adventurer. Finn, is, Finn has a wild thirst for adventure, travel, and new challenge, challenges. He is gifted he is a gifted student, but many teachers wish he would spend more time in the classroom and less out exploring the wilderness. So yeah, and yeah, that that is Finny's Finn, and this is Jenna, the Enigma. One wait, hold on, pause. Okay, one of the stranger students at the academy, Jinia. Jenna completes and comes and goes as she pleases, often disappearing for days at a time. There's a rumor going going around that she's not a student at all, spirit who, but a spirit who watches over the academy. But she, yeah, then, then a, sp a spirit who watches over the academy thinks that she is a student. She's a student. No, she's a student. Okay, Jess. The forest sprite. Jess loves nature and everything about it. His respect for nature is second is second only to his twin sister. Taught him all she knows. He will accept any challenge, prove himself worthy of her teachings. 
maybe Jess is maybe Jess's sister is Flora, which I don't know where it is. Yeah, Flora's right over here. The Flora, the forest guardian. The forests of the academy are full of life, and Flora loves being a part of it. Okay, hold on. Okay, she spends her time in the forest using earth spells to rejuvenate the plant life. Every once in a while, she returns to the academy looking for new challenges. Mmm, I see. Okay. Nick, a lot of students at the academy like the holiday season. Wait, Nick is the caroler, but no one loves it as much as Nick. Nick sings festi festive carols all year long, even in the middle of July. Wow, that's weird. I don't know what carols are. Anyway, I'm going to go check it up after this. After all this. Whoa, that's a lot of reading to do. Okay, anyways, wait. Oh, you know the Frosted Crown? The, yeah, the Frosted Crown, you get it at when you have 25 ice crystals. So, yeah. L Lillian, the pet enthusiast enthusiast lillian knows everything there is to know about pets from their favorite activity to their favorite flavor of yogurt she hopes to one day befriend every kind of pet and earn the title of earn the title of pet master Caratheus, like the pet enthusiast Caratheus, the beast master oh that's the frost saber robes wait they have that's this that's the whole outfit of the frost saber and that's the Frost Saber outfit. The whole thing. Karate. Yeah. It is not real for that Karate swears, though it, his outfit correctly symbolizes his power and respect for all beasts. Beasts. He never enters combat without a pet, though his he instead refers to them as brothers. So, actually, Loom, it's Loom, he has Lumiate and Luminex. Okay, so, yeah. Anyways, Jen, the time traveler. Many students dream of traveling the world, and Jen is no different. What, is sep what separates her from the other students is that she actually done it in only 79 days. Whoa, that's a lot of days. Now, that's not a long time. Time traveler. George, the curious. George has a blooming curiosity for anything and everything. He loves playing with gadgets and gizmo and often tries to invent his own with varying degrees of success. Aurora, the ice queen. So, students come to the academy by many means, but Aurora's tail takes the cake. She arrived at the academy floating on an iceberg, telling of her long journey across the sea. True or not, there is truth in her power over the spells of, of ice. Zion, the emerald knight. The emerald knight. One night, Zhang disappeared into the mountains alone. For days, students could hear the sounds of battle, and a green glow filled the sky. He returned wearing a mysterious emerald armor, which he claims he took from a dragon. So, dragon scales is like, which is, is, a, is from dra a dragon, and it's a mysterious emerald armor. I don't know, but who knows that we have it. Nova, the well-rounded. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I also I already said that. Hold on. Yeah, I said. Hold, sorry, guys. Yeah, this is a Chromebook, so yeah, I don't have enough percentage right left, so I only have a little bit time left. Nova, the well. Let's just keep going. Nova, the well-rounded, few, few students stand out the way Nova does. She is friendly, smart, and generally fun to be around. She practices and helps others when they ask. She'll accept your challenge, of course, and she'll even shake you when she beats you. Wow, she's nice. Cryos, the prodigy. Yeah, he's level 100. Cryos is by far the most gifted student the academy has ever seen. He has never lost a duel, and at least 20 students a year leave because of him. And now he challenges you. So, yeah, that is all the descriptions for the arena, the arena challengers, which is, hold on, 
which is Gina, Cameron, Myla, Benjamin, Benjamin, Fusia, Vannard, Lena, Finney's, Jenna, Jess, Flora, Nick, Lillian, Caratheus, Jen, Jen, George, Aurora, Zion, Nova, and Cryos. Yeah, and yeah, I hope you have an, a wonderful pumpkin fest. And yeah, I will see you on another video. Bye bye.